does because we see 12 episodes and you know he's selfish and the second 12 is him being part of the rebellion do we ever get a sense of he knows his doom throughout the series you know his e eventual rogue one doom being part of the rebellion i don't know i don't know i mean you'll have to watch it but uh but uh i i do think there is um i mean we all we're all capable of changing you know or, or of transforming and our perception can change dramatically you know so the thing here is to find out why his perception changed so much you know yeah. and uh, and i had that ch that opportunity to 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 play a role that actu actually doesn't have every answer at the beginning uh the, it's, it's not it's not connected you know it's not connecting this with this uh is 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 uh and it's interesting because probably at the beginning you won't believe he's capable of what he did in rogue one and i think that's what is what's interesting you know uh and and uh unreal because uh, it's 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 beautiful in life when you see someone you go like shit what happened how did you get here i thought you were there you know and you go like yes we are capable of that and storytelling should remind us that you know in a way i am so excited to see your character you know come back you return and you look amazing by the way yeah how excited are you to kind of bring this this character you know five years before rogue one during and like to to life and what can we expect from her since you know she is a politician politician and like you know trying to help the rebellion and be part of the rebellion and, yeah. and create this change what can you tell us about this her growth throughout the 12 episodes and the next 12. <laughs> well i think what's extraordinary about this um the opportunity to um do Andor is that uh, a long form narrative, 12 hours, allows for exploration of character, allows us to, allows me um, to uh, engage with the woman on a level that we haven't had the opportunity to do before. You know, I have questions. I had curiosities about her and I've played her. It's lovely to be given the space and the, um, the story time to learn about her. In Rogue One, we know she uh, is uh, one of the leaders of rebellion. Yeah. So we begin Andor where she is um, steeped in empire. Yeah. She, is, she is a member of the political elite. She is trying to effect change within the empirical senate, within the galactic senate. She's trying to gather opposition to Palpatine. This character is a legacy character, you know, she's, you know, been, she's part of the fandom for us, the Star Wars universe for years. Do you feel, like, how do you feel, you know, do you feel pressure or any feel, how do you feel being part of this as this legacy, as, you know, being, you're now the legacy of Moth Mother? Well, I always go back to Caroline, who played her originally in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And... Caroline did so much with such little time. She's an extraordinary actor. And I always knew from that speech in particular that there was a weight and a sacrifice to the woman at her heart. And that's what really drives me and is in, that I am interested in. Just how does it feel to be to be here and be part of this this Lucas Films and be part of this journey? God, it's the first one for me, yeah. as you know, as my first outing yeah. into the Star Wars franchise. And God, how exciting! You know, just got a few people, a few fans here. Um, it was great interest. Now it feels great to be here and give people the first teaser of our show. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Hoobian, so I'm like <laughs> so excited. I'm so, I'm so excited that you're here. And what can we expect from this journey? For, for the series like what like what was the idea that you guys had when you were put it together and this journey of his, the character listen this is the journey really it's a prequel to under uh, to rogue one as we know and it really is you know it ando follows cassian ando's you know extraordinary journey at the, through the formative years of the rebellion you know starting five years before rogue one and, and leading into the events it's an era area it's an era full of intrigue and danger and and deceit and you know and in which he makes the past to become the rebel that ultimately gives his life to the cause yeah. and he said that he's selfish in the beginning and what's the difference between the first 12 years and then the next journey of the next 12 years 
Well, I think you will have to switch on. It would be way, way too telling. You certainly fair to say that you will not meet Cassian in a place that you would have imagined. Rogue One is one of the best films, and also it has, uh, you know, we, we have amazing characters that come from it. We have Bodhi, we have well, Shuit, we have, you know, Cassian. We have so many beautiful characters. What made you decide Andor, like Cassian Andor's story is is one that you wanted to expand? And would you be willing to expand the other's story as well, like Bodhi and his 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 story as well? Man, I'm trying to make a new le- I mean, we have a whole bunch of characters and, and new characters and some legacy characters. But, I mean, the kind of storytelling that we're doing, and the, I think that's probably the most radical thing that we're doing, it would open the lane to doing anything. I mean, there's a billions and billions of people that live in the galaxy. All of their lives are interesting if you pay attention and you have a certain kind of storytelling. And as I said, you know, I mean, if you think of Star Wars as a huge restaurant or a, or a hotel, we're going into the kitchen. This is a show about what's backstage. And so, in essence, you could do anything. So, I mean, I'm trying to change, we're trying to change the, uh, the narrative focus in our show to open it up to a, anything. You could do anything. Well, what can you tell us? Because it's going to be 12 episodes, and then you're going to shoot again, and then another 12. Yeah. Um, and then it leads up to Rogue One. Yeah. Like, what, I, and, um, you know, and he, and Diego mentioned, you know, he was a selfish, and he kind of transitioned to the leader he is now. Right. What, what can you tell us about his journey and, like, for the first 12 years and how it's going to be different from the next 12? Uh, I'm put, we're, we're, we're starting him about as far away from the guy at the end of this movie as you could possibly have. And the first season is about the one year in his life, five years earlier, and uh, uh, it's an odyssey for him. It's an odyssey, a political uh, awakening for him. It's a, a an emotional awakening for him. He goes through an incredible amount of things. He's a different person at the end of the at the end of the year than he than he started at. And then in the the second half, it's watching that be put in play. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Looking you. forward to it. Thank Bye. you. Activist directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me? The hard not lying. Comics